Good morning, and uh, this is uh, part three of our teaching that we're doing on knowing your righteousness. And uh, we left off in, in the last session in, in Psalm 34 talking about the fact is that the Creator, whose name is Yahuwah, uh, has chosen to uh, grant us favor and mercy to those that um, would call upon the name of the Messiah and put their faith and trust in Him. And that we're, we've seen through our study that we're justified not by works of righteousness which we have done but it's according to his mercy that he saved us and he has declared us righteous we've talked about the fact is that our righteousness uh, that anything that we can do in our own self are as filthy rags as far as trying to be justified before Yahuwah and the reason for that of course is the fact is that when man fell through the, the first man Adam uh, the scripture says that the, the first man, Adam, uh, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a life-giving spirit, talk, making reference to, of course, to the Mashiach. When Adam fell, he passed down on through mankind uh, his sin nature. And men were spiritually uh, related to their father, the devil. Do you remember that Yahushua spoke in the Gospel of John chapter 8 talking to the Jews of the Yahudim of that day he, he, had, he said you are of your father the devil and the lust of him you will do you'll find that in John chapter 8 or Yahu Kanan it was his real name Yahu Kanan chapter 8 uh, he said that you are of your father the devil well <laughs> that he was he was stating the truth the fact is that because of, of Adam, the first man, Adam, uh, that sin nature has been passed down through through that man. For, and the scripture says over in Romans, and we're going to read over there in a few minutes, it says, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. And of course, that's talking about the Mashiach. But through Adam, all men through his fall for by one man's disobedience many were made sinners you know people sin because they're sinners uh that's that's why they sin that's why they do the acts and the, and the terrible things that they do is because they're it's their nature to act like a sinner um that's why it shouldn't surprise you and i you know to that all the evil that we see going around the world today is a result of the fallen nature of mankind. He is spiritually related to the devil. And until he experiences a new birth, that's why Yahushua declared in the Gospel of John chapter 3 that a man must be born again. He must take on a new nature. And that happens the moment that someone, whether he be a Jew or Gentile, puts his total faith and trust in the, the one that the Father has sent to be the savior of the world. And Yahushua himself said that whosoever believeth on him has everlasting life. Not going to get everlasting life, but he has it. The moment that a person puts their faith and trust in the Messiah, and really only Yahuwah himself knows those that really have put their faith and trust in him. Don't be deceived and fooled by people who say they're, they're believers or that they're Christians or that they have been saved or so forth because only by their fruit shall you know them. And Yahushua knows the heart of man and a lot of times people just because someone claims to be a Christian or a believer or whatever uh, doesn't mean necessarily that he or she really has been born of the set apart spirit. But over time, you should be able to recognize the fruit in their life to see and to, under, or to, to discern if they really have been born of the set-apart spirit. But that's why it was necessary for you and I uh, to be born again was because that we were spiritually were made sinners. We were made sinners because we inherited that nature uh, that's been passed on down through mankind. And the scripture says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory or the esteem of Yahuwah. All have sinned. We all have sinned. That's a result of our nature that we inherited. And that's why we needed to be born again. Now, people that are, some people will say, well, what about 
uh, newborn babes and, and children and so forth. Well, because they're, until someone reaches the age of accountability where they really truly know that right from wrong, Yahuwah uh, counts them as righteous because they're, 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 they uh, have not re yet attained to understanding the difference of right and wrong. That's why all children or babies, when they die, they go right to the presence of Yahuwah because they can't be held accountable for things that they uh, don't know the difference of right and wrong. Now, once they attain to that knowledge and understanding, then of course they are held accountable. And of course that age would vary differently for, for every individual depending upon their maturity and, and understanding the difference of right and wrong. And only Yahuwah is the judge and he knows that. He knows and he judges righteously and justly in that area. So, but with that said, that's why it was of a necessity that you and I be born again. And once you have put your faith and trust in him, he, the Father has fulfilled a promise that he made in Acts chapter 2, verse 38 and 39. If we believe on Yahushua HaMashiach, then we would receive the gift of the Holy Ghost or the set-apart spirit. And that is his spirit that we've, we, he's, been, he's given us. <laughs> Isn't that good news? And that's why you and I are righteous if you've done that. That's why he sees you in the realm of the Ruach, in the realm of the Spirit. He sees his work completed in the realm of the Spirit. That's why he can treat you as righteous. Even though you're flesh and you still may sin and miss it uh, in, in this outward man, but he, Yahuwah, sees us in the realm of the Spirit. That's why we're waiting for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our body. And, of course, that will happen at the rapture. Uh, the rapture being also the resurrection at that time, uh, these bodies shall put on immortality. This corruptible shall put on incorruption. <laughs> Boy, I'm looking forward to that day, and I'm sure you are too. We'll pick this up on our next session, which will be part number four. Please share these videos with your friends and others, and uh, encourage them to be a, become a subscriber if they haven't. And uh, I thank you again for all your encouraging comments. I thank you. And uh, I love you and look forward to our next time together. Shalom.